Welcome to Pocket Woman Lock Picking and Lock Sport. Today, this video will be a little bit different. It'll be appearing on both my channels on my Lock Sport channel, Pocket Woman, and on my general channel, Activist Disability Channel, Pocket Watch. This is a scam warning for all that participate in YouTube. All of you creators out there, anyone who's deciding to monetize their channel, these are the things that can get you undone. So what has brought about this, I hear you ask. Well, remember our mate Starrylock? Starrylock's channel got suspended, deleted, wasn't there anymore. Had to fight to get it back, and we're all running the hashtag sub Starlock because Starlock has lost all of their 1200 odd subscribers. Well, I saw this and I thought, right, I need to say something about this. So here it goes. The moral of the story will be at the end of it, so stay tuned. But what I want you to do is I want you to Get the full story from the person themselves. Hit the link in the description below and check out this channel. Jim Browning. Now, Jim Browning has 3.4 million subscribers, 171 videos, seven years on YouTube, making content to expose scammers puts a lot of work into how you can pick them these tech scammers you know the ones that ring up and say i'm from tech support you need to uh give us control of your computer do this well he reverse engineers everything and ted gets it all back to its source and exposes where they're coming from what money they're making who the bosses are and hopefully tries to get these shut down. Now, what has just happened to Jim at the end of July was that Jim fell for a scam. Yep, channel deleted. How? So Jim, I'll let Jim tell you a little bit about how it started. My techie stuff organized here, you know me. Not that great at tech, don't do any editing. All right, rocking and rolling. An early version of a video which I'm just about to release, which describes what happened to my YouTube channel at the end of July 2021. You'll see that I was tricked into deleting my channel, and this is the story of exactly how that happened. Well, it all started off with this email. I should explain first of all that YouTube is owned by Google and a lot of correspondence that I will get about YouTube will come from various Google accounts. Indeed, you have to have a Google account in order to get any ad revenue because it's Google that handles all of this part for YouTube. But let's have a look closely at this email and you'll see why it's a little bit more than your standard phishing mail. Firstly, it has genuinely come from Google.com. Most phishing emails will come from something other than Google or YouTube, but here the domain is correct. After the event, I had a good look at the SMTP headers. They confirmed what I already thought. This user was able to log in to Google Chat and send emails from that domain. And sending emails from there give it all the official stamps that made it look like a genuine Google email. And herein lies the first problem. If you're a user of Google Chat, you shouldn't be allowed to set your from address as anything at google.com. All this does is allow openings for people like this 
to spoof that they are google.com. But what about the contents of the email? Why on earth did I think that this was a legitimate email? The email itself wasn't that well formatted, there were capital letters where they shouldn't have been, but overall the English was just about okay and there were no spelling mistakes, a sure sign of a scam. The email simply said, Hi, please note that we have noticed that you have a duplicate AdSense account and as a result we will permanently suspend your YouTube account. If you're a creator on YouTube, you'll understand what this means. AdSense is the way to gain revenue via uploading videos on YouTube. But here's where coincidence will help scammers. Just the day before I received the email, I swapped to a new phone and managed YouTube through it. I put two and two together and assumed that because I was using a new device, somehow it may have generated this email. It's a bit like getting a fake Amazon phone call straight after you've placed an Amazon order. If it wasn't for that coincidence, I'm almost certain that I wouldn't have fallen for this scam. And I'm always in the habit of hovering over any links that appear in emails. This way I can tell exactly where they're going to lead to. And here, once again, we have chat.google.com, which again seemed to be convincing. So when I did click the link, I was straight through to Google Chat. But of course, anyone can set up a Google Chat link. What I should have been paying attention to was the email address of this chat support account. It shouldn't have been creator-partners.com. It should have been YouTube or Google.com. But I was distracted. I was doing other things and I just wasn't paying enough attention. Right. That's how easy it is. So I'm just going to bring you along a bit further into the story. In the meantime, I was having lots of trouble trying to get the channel restored. Initially, the team thought that I may have been compromised. I did explain that I never lost control of the account and I just needed it restored from deletion. But I was obviously through to a team who dealt only with compromised accounts. I wasn't through to the people who could actually restore it. So they took two agonizing days to tell me what I already knew, that the account wasn't compromised. But worse than this, they told me that since my channel was deleted, they don't have a way to recover a deleted channel. This just wasn't true, and I don't understand why they sent this in correspondence. Interesting. Let's go to the next section. explained to my followers exactly what was going on, I made a tweet about the experience. I described that my channel had been deleted, albeit through my own hands, and that it was an attempted scam. I received a lot of support via Twitter, and people like Mark Rober even chipped in with their own experiences of attempted scams in a similar sort of way. And they received... Moving on. Eventually, four days later, YouTube were indeed able to restore my channel. Ironically, they sent virtually the same instructions that the scammer had done. They got me to create a new blank channel and move it to a brand account. So I'd like to thank Christopher from the YouTube support team for clearing up my mess. But the biggest thing that I've learned out of the whole experience is that really anyone can be scammed and that includes me and you. The circumstances just need to be right. Also be wary of anything that purports to be from google.com. Any user, it seems, will be able to use this domain. It doesn't mean it's representative of Google. I blindly followed instructions and I should have really followed my own advice and asked more questions, checked and double checked what was going on and basically take my time over everything that was happening. And I'm pretty sure that two-step authentication would have saved me. Even if I'd filled out the form, I'm pretty certain that the guy wouldn't have been able to log into my account simply because I had two-step authentication switched on. If you're a creator on YouTube, this is an absolute essential. And as for the... There you go. 
So, isn't that interesting? Well, I find that very interesting. Someone who spends their time exposing scammers has been scammed through simple coincidence and all the links and everything going legit leading back to their YouTube account. The only thing that wasn't legit was the google.com email. Now what this scammer asked for was $100 to restore the account because they said they had control of the account. But Jim was able to prove that they did not have control of the account, which meant his account was not compromised because he did not complete the Google form that was sent to him in another authentic link that would have signed over his channel completely. Now, they did ask Jim to go to another page where he would sign over his AdSense password and information so that they could then gain all of his revenue from his YouTube channel and all Jim would be left with would be the blank channel he was asked to create. Now my thing is YouTube, you restored Jim Brown's channel because he was scammed. Now YouTube, you removed Starry Lock's channel because algorithms or whatever, you've still not given a reason. You returned his channel, but you have not returned Starry Lock's subscribers youtube return starry lock subscribers 1200 subscribers years of building the channel and you have stolen a big chunk of it sure you gave him back his content but give him back his audience now this fellow that was mentioned in this video that jim had a contact with at YouTube, Chris. Chris, if you're listening, mate, help Starrylock get his subscribers back. We know you can do it. You can do it for a big channel that's earning you a heap of dollars. You can do it for a smaller channel that means a lot to the community. YouTube is always saying its creators, its channel, is about interaction with community. Well, Starrylock has lost a big interaction with his community because you haven't given him back his subscribers. YouTube, give Starrylock back his subscribers. Thanks for watching, everyone. That's my community message for this week stay tuned we're going to get back into locks links will be in the description below for this video from Jim Brown thanks very much Jim links will be in the description below for Starry Locks channel this video will appear on both my channels Pocket Women and Pocket Watch stay legal people temptation is everywhere even in the computer world.